Hi guys, Kevin here and welcome. So today I'll be reviewing the Megabox MG4 Max. This is a fully loaded box. I've reviewed another Megabox before. Don't love the name, but the box is pretty good. And this is the new one. So this is going to have an aluminum casing. This is a little more premium. You have six apps, four gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage, of course expandable, dual band Wi-Fi, voice remote, gigabit ethernet, has a record function. I can't show everything, but I'll try to show as much as I can on YouTube, so you don't have to follow up and rumble, but I'll also try to have the video also on rumble, so you can check it out there too. But it should just be one video instead of two. So let's go do it. Okay, so here's the box itself. You got the clock on the front, kind of like the color. You got the, the metal aluminum casing. You got two USBs on the side, pretty standard. You got IR port, digital out, AV in, HDMI, LAN, and power and then some ventilation on the side. So nice color blue. Otherwise, pretty basic looking box. Aluminum is nice. You also get the standard two amp plug, HDMI cable, extremely basic user guide, and the remote. So I can get a closer look of it. Got the voice function right there. Got some shortcuts at the top. So let's get the box booted up and get it set up. Okay, so just plugged in the box, nice mega box logo, got my batteries in my remote. None of these boxes come with batteries, always have to mention that. So I got a nice intro, nice video. Okay, and here's your home screen, so it boots up pretty quickly and fairly basic. What more do you need? Now the first thing you want to do is go set up your Wi-Fi or if you have uh, Ethernet, even better. So you go down to settings. Go to network and internet, and you choose your connection, put in your password, and then off you go, you're set up on uh, Wi-Fi, or if you just plug in directly, that's fine. And that's probably the best method for these boxes is to go directly, but not always the case for some people. Now also we wanna set up, instead of line of sight, we wanna set up the Bluetooth remote, and also so we can use the voice function. So now you wanna go also in settings, to Bluetooth, pair a new device, now you want to press the left and right buttons beside the OK button. So right there you want to hold those in. So long press. There you can see Bluetooth remote. So we're going to pick that one. Okay, now you can see connected. So now we don't need line of sight. So this is a huge bonus because I don't like line of sight. So this is great. Okay, so now let's get into the apps. So you come with some standard Chrome Play Store, so you can download, of course, anything you want from the Play Store, and you can also sideload. You got the Miracast receiver if you want to cast from your phone, and you have these other apps here, so this is going to give you a lot of content, as well as the ones that come standard with the box, which is the live VOD and replay. So you also get Europe, Latino, USA, Canada, Asia, and those you get from here from the App Store. So you can select anything you want from here, including Downloader, if you do want to install third-party apps. It is, after all, an Android box, so feel free. So once you click on the ones that you want to install, it'll install them automatically and put a green check mark. So here, let's first check out the Live. So it'll always log in, give you automatic updates every time, so you don't really have to do anything. Now you simply press OK, and you can see all. So right at the top, you got your favorites, so you just long press a channel, there you go, you can see the star, now it's on your favorites. Then you got network TV, regional locals, so your local uh, channels all here. Not for yourself, unless you happen to be in one of the cities, it doesn't uh, select them according to where you are, they're just kind of preset. Then you got sports networks, 24-7, pay-per-view, NBA, MLB, NFL, NCAA football, basketball, NHL, music, then you have Brazil, Latino, Supersport, Canada, Asia, UK, others, and Europe. So a lot of content just from this standard app that comes with the box. And I should also show you how to record. So if you go on something that you want to record here after pressing OK, this brings you to this menu. Then you press your menu button. Then you have this come up where you can start, stop. And also you can give feedback if something isn't working or out of sync no sound, etc. or there's uh, support at the bottom as well where you can email. So very simple, and then once you start and stop, then you'll find them here under File Browser, Local Memory, and then Recordings. That's where you find the recorded shows. 
Okay, so now let's go to VOD. Okay, so here we have recommended, newest, movies, TV series, and settings, which you don't really have to change. Then also recommend is where you can search, set a favorite, or history. Then movies, you have all your categories here on the left, so action, adventure, etc. Then if you want to play something, you just press play, or you can add it to favorite. So play takes usually just a few seconds. Then you press your OK button and go right to the upper right. You can see their subtitles off. And now they're on. So that's how you turn on the subtitles. Then all movies as of today, you have over 29,000 movies. So a lot of content. And then replay is where you can watch things that you might have missed on the pre-selected channels. And here you can go seven days back. So there you can see a bunch there. Local channels, you got some variety of channels, entertainment. Keeps going, keeps going. Then you have your packages for sports. So you have over 100, so 101. Then you also have the sports TV app. And yeah, this is a nice option if you're trying to watch something on the main app, doesn't work. That's what these boxes are all about now. They give you another option of another server. So this gives you a different server, all, all sports networks, pay-per-view, all your sports packages. So it's all there. So mainly cater to sports. And same thing for these, Asia, Canada, USA Local, Latino, and Europe. They're separate servers from the main, the main app. And here you have different parts of Asia. So you have Philippines, India, IL, not sure where that is. Then you have Canadian channels. Okay, here as well, lots of Canadian channels. Got your news, entertainment. Then French channels. Sports channels, your TSNs, super sports. So good content there. Then USA Local will be major cities and also probably some towns for your local news. So lots of stuff there as well. Latino, Latino channels, and then Europe will be uh, UK. Lots of channels for UK. I think that's Russia, I believe. Are you? Poland. Italy, Denmark, and a few for France. So a lot of great content on the box. I like with these boxes that they have backups and also separate apps, not just the three main apps. So that's kind of what it's come down to is just uh, them competing with each other with who can have the most amount of apps, it seems. And that gives you the most buffer-free, best way knowing that you're going to watch what you want to watch. You have the options. So a great box. I like the first one. I like this one. Just gives you more options. And also the Elite boxes are also another option. They're great. Can't get enough of these. Obviously, you can just get a basic Android box or Fire Stick. You can get a live TV service if you want. You can save money that way. This one's just plug-and-play, hassle-free. Pretty easy, so it's another option. I'm not saying this is the only option, but it is definitely another option for you guys. So if you want less fuss, you know, you give it to a parent, a grandparent, you want something that's just easy, this is it. So again, thanks for watching. Links below. This one's a little bit different. You can email them for ordering or also get them on WhatsApp. It is a company, so you can trust them, but it is a different process. You can go on the website and look more about the box, but the ordering process is through uh, mainly email or WhatsApp. So links below. Ask any questions if you have them. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.